Allow me to introduce Iris Cup from Misty Fuse, someone I have been dealing with for such a long time and I would like her here at Quilt Market at Houston to explain to you all the benefits of the wonderful product Misty Fuse. Over to you Iris. Hi, well thank you Judy. So let me tell you a little bit about Misty Fuse. So this is Misty Fuse. It's a very, very, very sheer web. The thing about it is that we got rid of solvents, blow additives, extra adhesives, body modifiers, plasticizers, um, also the paper, and and certainly the, as I mentioned, the extra adhesives. Those, all of those things work to gum up your needle later, and they also some of them. The ones that make it fuse feel so soft at first, or the ones that get very crinkly later on. Solvents are bad, they're bad to breathe as you're working. I was mortified when I heard that children chew on quilts and there's solvents in that. That's going in our kids. You know, we love making quilts for kids that are so soft. So, Misty Fuse also works differently than other fusibles. This is an engineered web. It's going to go up and down like fingers into the fibers rather than being an adhesive on the surface. Surface adhesive will keep things feeling stiff, whereas when you go up and down with fingers, everything really flows and moves nicely. So that's the nice thing about Misty Fuse also. It works differently, it's made differently, and it's our formula, so you can't get it anyplace else. If it's not branded Misty Fuse, you're not getting Misty Fuse. So just because it may look like this, it's not. It's about the formula and what's not in it and how it's made and not made. So we got rid of all kinds of things. My work before, this is an accidental business for me. My work before as a designer and product developer, I was working with an organization called Mothers and Others for a Livable Planet. I learned all about the environmental issues. So when I first learned about this and was trying to research it for help somebody else out, that's where I start to learn and realize that what's out there is not what you want to work with. So that's why Misty Fuse is different from other products. The way we work with it is also different. We, the other thing I learned with other fusibles, you have to reverse your design. I never liked the idea of reversing. It was too confusing for me too hard, so Misty Fuse never has to be reversed. One of the ways you can work is tracing your designed right reading. So an F stays an F. The way I like to get uh, work with that now is take, take your fabric that you're going to work with on a project. You generally know ahead of time what you're going to work with. I like to say pull out everything, put Misty Fuse on it, and then put the fuse away. That keeps everything really neat and clean, and that just means taking Misty Fuse like this, cutting it just as much as you need to cut your fabric. I like to go over the edge just a little bit so I know I have Misty Fuse all the way. Since this is so light and sheer, if you missed a spot, just put another piece over it. A little piece it'll all even out you won't get any ridges or anything with misty fuse because it just doesn't work that way so now these little pieces that you have left over any scraps put them in a box because later you're going to take your batting and you're going to spread out these pieces around the batting put your quilt top on top iron it down turn it over do the same thing and this is a quilt that's been basted with misty fuse Things are going to move when you iron, you don't have pins, you're not going to stick yourself, you don't have to stitch the whole thing, it would be the best base you've ever had. You can even do large queen size, king size quilts, you just do roll it and do it part at a time and work your way down. It will be a perfect basting job. So now, now that I have the fuse in the back of my fabric, I can just iron this. I use a hot iron and I keep my iron moving. I don't hold and count. I don't want to build in those air pockets. Air moves and it contracts and expands at different rates and you can get bubbling and um, it can start a fraying process, especially on larger pieces. So I like to move the iron. So I keep it hot. If, if my fabric is delicate, I'll lift it a little, let it cool, and then iron a little more. Let it cool, iron a little more. I'm layering the heat so the fuse has a chance to really get in the fabric. 
it's hard to iron this diffuse away. It's actually, this diffuse likes heat because it really wants to get into the fibers. So now, I'm going to peel off, this is the goddess sheet, which is a very thin fiberglass. We go thinner on our fiberglass, heavier on our coating, so the iron really glides, even when it's a dirty iron, and also protects the iron things from getting into the fabric and sort of messing up on edges and things like that, um, and accelerates the heat a bit. You could also use Parchment paper, works just as well, really nicely. So now I have Misty Fuse on the back of my fabric. It's shiny now because the goddess sheet makes it shiny. You'll see after I do this on parchment, parchment makes it matte, so it's hard to see sometimes. Take just as much fabric as I need. If I have eight shapes out of the fabric at the same, you know, the same fabric, I can draw them all together close by and um, and do it all at once. So I put it with a few size down directly over what I drew. That was a number two pencil and Reynolds baking parchment, uh, a silicone coated parchment paper. So since it's parchment, I can turn this over. I can move it around if I want. And I'm gonna iron this together. And this is what you're used to seeing. That's the back. Re the reverse, only you didn't have to reverse it. You could cut that out now, but I don't even like to cut through paper. Uh, it starts a fraying process when you're torquing and pulling. And uh, which scissor do you use? Your good fabric scissor or your paper scissors? I never know. So now you don't have to. Just take this off and Misty Fuse lifts the pencil line off. It's reversed for you. And all you have to do is now cut that out. And by the way, all you use on a darker fabric, I might use white or pink or yellow or something like that. So I have more combinations if, um, if my fabric is in a light fabric like this. And I use Prismacolors or Polychromos. These work really, really well. Uh, if you're using a different pencil, test it first. So now I'll cut out. I'm not going to cut out exactly what I'm doing. But you can also see here that this looks pretty matte. It's hard to even see that Misty Fuse is on there. That's because the parchment paper doesn't shine it up the way um, the goddess sheet does. So now to put it on here, to put it on here, and just to let you know, this is actually a goddess sheet wrapped around here. I use wool felt, it's a, it's a wooden board. I use wool felt, not batting, but felt, and wrapped a goddess sheet around it and cut off the part, and that can be the top. So it makes it very nice if you're working, and you can make different size boards too, but it's a very nice thing to always have one dedicated down there like that. I use a scrubby. I go to the dollar store for these because the name brand's a little harsh, and I just clean things off all the time just so if there are any little scraps, they're caught with that. So now we don't have that extra adhesive. It's not gonna temporarily stick. But that's the stuff that gums up later and will gum up your needle and also gets crinkly and dry later. So I like to pin it, but the way I like to pin is just like that. So now that's on there because we're those fingers that have gone down. If I don't like that there or I want to change the color, I can peel this off. I might be breaking off a fingertip, but because we're not working on the surface, my surface is still clean. And now I'll just put that where I want it, iron it down. And I'll be ironing over the same pieces over and over again. I don't have to worry about the first pieces popping off when I'm doing the last pieces. Because Misty Fuse just keeps getting tighter. So that's the way the Misty Fuse works. So what we've done now to make life even easier, um, you could use freezer paper templates. You could do... Um, is a transdoodle, which is a chalky tracing paper, but even easier than any of that, we developed our bunny paper. And this is here's the bunny paper. In the bunny paper, you, you just put this through the printer like this, and you print on this shiny side, and then you take your fabric, and this is a little bit slippery, so when I take a piece of fabric here, take the fabric on top 
I take a piece of uh, typewriter paper and I'm going to hold it over here because if I held the fabric directly on, it would slide around. And this I actually just did before, so I'll just tell you what it is, but iron it just like that, iron on top. Then when you take this off, Misty Fuse lifts, lifts that off of the paper so that you have transferred the design without you even having to trace it. You can print it directly from, on a desk, regular desktop printer, this is a Hewlett Packard, this is um, a $39 printer here in the States, and color and black and white, and um, it works, feeds it great. We can't hook it up to the computer here, so we're using the copy function, which is only 8.5 by 11 on this printer, but um, our paper is 8.5 by 14 because it actually costs the exact same thing, so why not get the extra 27% since most printers will take that legal size and then you can print a larger sheet and it keeps larger images. So then, once you've done this and you've taken your design off, take a paper towel with some alcohol. This is uh, regular rubbing alcohol. I don't know if you call it the same thing, you probably do, right? I should call. Oh, close enough, right? Mm -hmm. And now you can just wipe this off like that. And now we'll put this, this right back, oops, back into the printer. And ready to print something else or however you want to do it and do it all over again which is why we call it bunny paper because it keeps on reproducing and you can do this many times and then what you can also do is take the bunny paper with the fabric on it and print right on the fabric so this could also be a cutting line this could, you'd be making a label um, you could do here. I did it with. Um, I was printing off the print off the computer on this other printer, so I was able to change to a light blue here. And you can see this could be a stitching line. It also shows up on every. I mean, you can do all kinds of things like that, printing on the paper. And then again, you you take this off and put another piece of fabric on it and go through the printer again. And that's the bunny paper. We're pretty excited about it. It comes in packages with eight sheets. So you'll get to use it many times or 16 sheets. And happy Misty Fusing. Thank you very much, Iris. My that was pleasure. very, very inspirational. Love the new products. Thank you so much.